Lucky Lucky. This came in my mail. Yes, that's right, guys. I got F-123. It's been a while. It's been a couple of days. But finally, we're going to pop this in and see what EA and Cody spat out this time. Hey, since there's no NASCAR video game anytime soon, thanks a lot, Motorsports Games. Uh, actually, I know, but I'll talk about it in a later video. So in the meantime, let's pop this son of a gun in, and let's see what they came up with today. Now, the first thing I gotta talk about is the cover. If you guys were expecting Max Verstappen on the cover, you're gonna have to get the Champions Edition. So if you got the regular edition, like me, you have Lewis, you have Lewis, Charles, and Charles and Lando. Which, if you see the main card, they swapped just for the regular edition. They sheeted it down and just went with Russ. They switched Russell out. All right. Let me update that. So I'm kind of excited to see what this goes. How this goes. Of course, I'll be going over some of the new additions in the play now feature before we actually get into gameplay. But before we do that, I'm going to double check. I'm going to check. Well, I'm going to give you guys my top 10 lip my top 10 liveries for the F1 this season. Before we get into the actual gameplay, we'll be right back. Well, here we are. And, weird. Okay, let me check my games and apps real quick. See all? And, oh, that's weird. Installation stopped on the AEW game. Okay, let me double check everything. Wait. Oh, wow. Okay, I'll be right back. Yep, and no, you're not deceiving you. That is AEW ready to go. We're only six days away and already I can play the game right now. But I'm not going to because... It's this thing today. Anyway, I'll see you guys at the title screen. To no one's surprise, it actually showed the uh, intro that you see at every race in Formula One, whether on ESPN, Sky, Sky Sports, or F1 TV like I have. And, whoa! New, new, the new title look. The new title screen looks good. I mean, it's better than it was. I like this sort of futuristic sort of thing. And okay, we're syncing the data. I'm really hoping we don't create my driver right away. And. Hang on, let me check AEW real quick. 78, okay. Ugh, I gotta go through this crap. This legal mumbo jumbo. Oh, cross-play. You know what? Yeah, even though I'm probably not going to do it. Okay, everything is... You know what? I'll do the subtitles. All right. Oh, man. I've been waiting a while for this. And yep. There you guys see. Breaking point two and... Yeah, we'll talk about this following a new team on the grid. We'll get to that shortly, but the elephant in the room, we have F1 World. Welcome to F1 World, a journey through the sport that will offer you events based around casual or competitive play, single player or multiplayer, fun versus realism, and everything in between. 
As you play, you learn upgrades that can be equipped to your car and team in the garage, increasing your tech level and giving you the performance you need to tackle greater challenges. Along the way, you'll build up your compendium, find new ways to customize your car and character, earn trophies from the trophy cabinet, and more. So when you're ready, jump into the play screen and take your first steps into F1 World. Okay, first up, we gotta go to the player hub. Check the mail, because I'm pretty sure this is the renewal, re renewal thing. Let's take a look. Oh, right out of the gate, we get 5,000 5, XP. Nice, you love to see it. <laughs> and also, we got the uh, returning player award. And whoa. Man, and a customizable item. Alright, 50 insight. And the. Oh, hello, Audi! Where are you at? That is freaking awesome! I think I might have just found my livery, but I have to change the thing, though. Alright, let's jump right in. Let's take. Wait, what the? Oh, okay. Here we go. Let's take a look. F1 World Car. Oh, I think I have to create my car. All right, let's take a look. F123. Okay, so we have all the tracks. Bahrain, Saudi, Australia, Azerbaijan. Oh, it feels weird seeing Azerbaijan being fourth. Miami. Emila. Thoughts and prayers throughout those who were affected by those floods. God, that's brutal. Monaco, of course. The updated Barcelona Catalonia. We'll get to that later. Montreal, we were just there. The Red Bull Ring, we're heading there next. Silverstone. Arguably my favorite circuit on the calendar. The Hungaro Ring. Which is interesting because I read somewhere saying there's a new track in Hungary. Kind of interesting to see what happens there. Spa Frankelshaw. Zandvoort. Monza, of course. Singapore. Suzuka. Qatar, that's a new track. And of course, if you play the MotoGP games, you know this is a fun circuit. So it's going to be interesting that Qatar has been added to a, a gaming series that I'm very familiar with. So, nice. Coda. Mexico, Interlagos, Las Vegas. Now, if they don't drive by the T-Mobile Arena, I'm slapping somebody. And Abu Dhabi. And there's three legacy tracks. Shanghai, who got canceled. Which is sad, because besides the China politics, this is a really fun circuit. Paul Ricard is still here as a legacy circuit. And, and, and Portimao. Right, for this one... Let's do Vegas, and we'll take a look at these cars. Oh, Red Bull. Obviously, you have the world champ, Max Verstappen, and Sergio Perez. Scuderia Ferrari. Charles Leclerc, and the smooth operator, Carlos Sainz. Mercedes. Sir Lewis Hamilton, and George Russell. Alpine. Esteban Ocon, and, in the words of Daniel Ricciardo, Pierre Gasly! Yeah, you guys would have hated me if I didn't do that. McLaren, you have Lando Norris, and rookie Oscar Piastri. A year late, but hey, he's on the grid. Alfa Romeo, which, although, in real life, they're Alfa Romeo steak, but in this game, I guess they can't use steak in this game for some reason, so they put kick in there. The Twitch competitor. Here we have Valtteri Bottas, in the words of Daniel Ricciardo, and Zhou Guan Yu. We have Aston Martin. We have El Plan Fernando Alonso, who is turning back the clock, and Lance Stroll. 
And now we have the MoneyGram Haas F1 team. Yes, during their time in Brazil, they actually got a new title sponsor and a very legitimate one compared to the last two. We have K-Mag, Kevin Magnuson, and Nico Hulkenberg, which, poof, man, we all thought he was going to be rusty, but so far, Nico has exceeded my expectations. And the... the Oh, that car. Ugh. I'll talk more about that when we get to my livery list. Alpha Tauri, we have Yuki Sonoda and sort of rookie Nick DeVries. And last but not least, Williams. We have Alex Albon and Logan Sargent making him the first American F1 driver since Frickin' Scott Speed in 2000 and frickin' 6. And of course, there's my car, my world car, which I'll talk more about that when we get into my team. So, of course, you guys want to talk about my liveries list? You're going to have to wait because we got to talk about the, my, the F2 cars. And keep in mind, one of these teams is going to be my team for my driver career, so... Keep your, keep that in mind. Prema, we have Dennis Hauger and Jehan Daruvala. Virtuosi Racing, we have Jack Doolin and Marino Sato. Carlin, we have Liam Lawson and Logan Sargent. High Tech GP, we have Indy Carson sens Sensation in Real Life, Marcus Armstrong and that guy. ART, we have Frederick Vesti and Teo Porcher. MP Motorsport, we have Felipe Dragovic and Clement Novak. Campos Racing, Ollie Caldwell and Ralph Balchon. Damps, we have Roy Nassani and Ayumo Isawa. Trident, we have Richard Vershaw and Callan Williams. Seriously, how is Williams not signed with anyone yet? Charu Racing System, which we know th that full name is gone. We have the now Red Bull Junior driver Enzo Fittipaldi and Tatiana Calderon. And Van Amersfoort Racing with Jake Hughes and Omri Cordell. And there you guys go. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually quite tempted to try out these my world. Curious to see how this goes, though. Curious to see how this plays going forward. But of course, I'll be back in a few minutes to discuss my favorite liveries in F1. And yes, I will be going over my least favorite as well. See you in a bit. 